For this kitchen project, we'll start by prepping the subfloor. It's a really bad idea to lay tile directly on the plywood. Plywood will flex quite a bit. Preparing the subfloor for tile is very important. This starts with having a layer of cement board. The cement board prevents flexing and creates a strong water resistant base for laying the tile. For best results, thin set mortar should be mixed to the consistency of toothpaste. Now we spread the thin set on the subfloor using a quarter inch by quarter inch square notch trowel. Once the thin set is spread, we're ready to place the cement board. Make sure the cement board is firmly in place and is laid with the seams matching. Then screw the board into place at four inch intervals. Once the cement board is in place, it's time to tape up the joints and seams. Even the pros lay out the tile on location to get a handle on the design and mark the pieces as they set the layout. Once the layout is established, the tiling will start at these chalk lines. The tile will be laid using thin set mortar. Make sure to press the tile into the mortar with a slight back and forth motion. The tile that borders walls and cabinetry may need to be cut to size. When using a straight line cutter, line up the cut with the guide, then slide the blade along the tile to score it and firmly press down on the lever to break it. After the mortar has dried 24 hours, you're ready to grout. Make sure you mix the grout powder with flexible grout admixture. Add the powder to the liquid, not the other way around, and work the mixture until it is the consistency of toothpaste. Now we're ready to apply the grout. Use a grout float to work the grout into the tile joints. Remove all of the grout with the exception of a fine film. This film can be buffed off in 30 to 45 minutes using a clean, dry cloth. After the grout has dried 48 to 72 hours, we're ready for the final step in tiling the floor, which is to seal all the grout joints with penetrating sealer or stone seal. When we're applying sealer to the grout, we need to wipe the excess sealer off the face of the tile immediately with a dry paper towel. Let it dry, and we're finished with our kitchen floor.